Hello dear friends, this is your old Humphreys. I'm glad to be with you, to share with you a few moments on from the Word of the Lord. And I believe that God's with me and that the Lord will help me to say a word that you need. I'm speaking here to you from my home right here in my study and I pray that you'll hear this message, about a 10 minute message. And I'm speaking to you upon the fact that Jesus Christ is the light of the world and we need light. We walk in darkness, the world's in darkness, and we need the light of Christ to shine upon us and give us that light. And Jesus is that light. The Bible says in John, the first chapter, verse 9 and 10, it says that uh, Jesus was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world knew it was made by him, but the world knew him not. He came into his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God, even and the children of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born, not of blood, nor of the will of man, but born of God. And so we need to recognize the truth that Jesus Christ came into the world to save. He came as a light. He came as a light into the world. Over in the first chapter Again of John, it says he was, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. So we need to see the fact that Jesus Christ is the light. We live in a dark world, and the world is dark with sin and unbelief. And it's dark because of selfishness and pride and arrogance. And we've turned away from God because we know not God. And so therefore there is darkness in the land. And we need to recognize that Jesus Christ came to bear witness and to come as a light to those that are in darkness. Oh, it's a terrible thing to live in darkness. But the light comes and it's a wonderful thing to have light to where you can see where you're going and understand and observe what's going on. And so look, Jesus is the light of the world. In the book of Ephesians, the first chapter, it says that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and knowledge of Him, that the eyes of your understanding would be open. And so we need the eyes of our understanding, that is, the eyes of our heart need to be opened. We're blind. We're blind by sin. Bible says that we're blinded in this world by sin, that the devil has blinded the minds of those that do not believe. And so we need the light. We need the light that comes from God, that light that comes and then God transforms us and gives us the love of God. And when you have the love of God, you've got the light of God. The Bible says in 1 John, the second chapter, he that loves his brother dwells in the light. And there is no occasion of stumbling in him. He that loves his brother dwells and lives in the light. And that's important. But he that hates his brother is in darkness and walks in darkness and knoweth not where he's going. And so you see, when you have Christ come in your life, you've got the love of God that comes in and you begin to love. You love God and you love others. And because of that love, light comes in because love is light and unbelief is darkness. Now you're either walking in the light or you're walking in darkness. And we need to see that there is a time when you need to turn to God and let God turn, take over. In Him was life and the life was the light of men. Oh, I want you to see that. It's important to see how important it is to see that life and light go together with Christ. He comes to bring you light. As many as received Him, to them He gave power to become the children of God, even to those that believe in His name. I want you to receive Christ. I want you to receive Him in your heart. I want you to receive Him in your life. I want you to turn it over to Him. I want you to let God be your strength and Jesus be your hope. I want you to let God direct your life and be the light of the world. Be the light of the world. Oh, my dear friends, we need that light or we're in darkness. Someone has said, you know, the beautiful stained glass windows you see. Oh, they're beautiful. When the sunlight is shining on them, they're beautiful. But at night, when it's dark, 
the only way you can see those beautiful sun uh, uh, glass window windows, the only way you can see the beauty in them is when there is a light within. The light has to go on inside that building, and then those beautiful stained glass windows are revealed in their beauty. So it is we have to have the light within us before we can show the beauty of God in our lives, before we can see the good in others, before we see the beauty in others that are walking by faith. It's because there's a light within their heart that's shining and the windows of their soul is being revealed. And so it's important that we see this, that the light of the world is Jesus. Come to that light, it shines for you. Oh, how sweetly that light has dawned upon me. Once I was blind, but now I can see the light of the world is Jesus. It's Jesus. Praise the Lord. Oh, John Newton wrote Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. I want you to know that when Jesus comes in, He brings light, and then you can see. It's a wonderful thing to be able to see, to know and understand the things of God, and that's important. I want you to see that. Heavenly sunlight, heavenly sunlight, flooding my soul with glory divine. Hallelujah. I am rejoicing. Oh, praise God, Jesus is mine. Yes, we have sunlight in our soul when we walk with the Lord, when we believe in our God, when we find Christ. I want you to find that light. And when you find light, you find in help. Down in Egypt, down in Egypt, the plague, one of the plagues was darkness. Moses lifted up his rod and the sun went out. And there was darkness all over the land of Egypt. But the Bible said in the houses of the Israelites there was light. God gave them light in the houses of the Israelites. But in, in the palaces and in all the houses of Egypt there was darkness. It went on for days after days after days. Darkness. And so finally Pharaoh cried out and said, Moses, Moses. He went to him and said, Please pray to your God and lift this darkness. Give us light. Oh, my dear friends, the world is living in darkness. They do not see the light of the world. It's Jesus. I want you to believe in him. And then you'll be born, and not of man, but of God. And you'll become a child of the King. And you'll walk with God in light. May the light of God shine on you. In Jesus' name, amen.